We've reached the halfway point of the NPL season and after 13 rounds, both Dandenong Thunder and Heidelberg United still have a lot to play for. Dandy comes into this match in fifth spot and a win here tonight can see them jump to equal third. That spot is currently Heidelberg's and while they won't move anywhere with a win, it'll help keep them up with the top two. Now we join your commentator Teo Pelizzeri for all the action from George Andrews Reserves. Kearney takes possession on the right. Ambitious crossfield pass, but it's going to work out to Cusis. And now he's got his pocket picked by Petri. Heidelberg looking to counter-attack. High over the top, looking for Shepard. Heads it to his own advantage. Bounces five metres from the top of the area. Turning Shepard back to goal. Now lays it off. Petri's there. First time shot. In off the post. 1-0 Heidelberg, and they have the early goal. And the man who started the move, Jack Petri, finishes it off with a perfect shot into the bottom left corner. Less than two minutes in, and Heidelberg get a dream start here at George Andrews. Norval restarts play with a long kick. Center right position allowed to bounce. Katanos, little header down. And now advancing, Heffernan past one. Ball bobbles up and might sit for him here. And he shoots wide of the left post. And the goalkeeper dived after it. Very nearly 2-0. Heidelberg off to a flying start. Get up, get up, up. In comes the cross. High clearance. It's easy standing underneath it. Brings it down. And Dandy Thunder will try and retain possession. On the right-hand side. Turned over. Now Katanos moving the ball on quickly. Here goes Shepard, passing into the middle. Petri is there. Ryan's one challenge. Now feeding the ball through. Here's Shepard, under pressure, and shooting into the bottom left corner. It's 2-0 to Heidelberg after only eight minutes. Shepard scores. Petri with the assist. And it is Heidelberg United 2, down and on Thunder nil. Channel opens up here for Kanakaris to advance into the attacking half. Heidelberg trying to break again. Pass out to the left-hand side. Here's a shot from Heffernan, and it's tipped away. Great save by Zanelli. Out to the left-hand side. Kanakaris is there. Turning onto his right foot, and this one, not so much power behind it. Heidelberg laying siege to the Dandenong Thunder goal. Here comes the free kick. Left foot in swinger. And it's through the area without a goal-bound touch. Elmazovsky chasing it out to the right-hand side for Dandenong Thunder. Looking to break out from the back. It's easy. Moving the ball. Schroen slides in. And he's hurt himself with the challenge. Heidelberg. And they're going to put the ball out of play. Marcus Schroen is down and hurt. Looks like an injury to his left lower leg. Well, it's a sorry scene here. Marcus Schroen... Played for the Hart youth team in the NYL over summer. And he's been a regular in the starting 11 for Dandenong Thunder this season. But it looks like his night is coming to an early end. Free kick on the left-hand side. Taken short. Dover turning. Shooting from distance. And getting down to it. Norval tips it round his right post. Good save. Kieran Dover letting fly from distance. And Norval awake to the danger. Pace still in his attacking half, looking to drive Heidelberg forward. Little flick on. Here's Katanos. Cuts in onto his right. That one's got no power behind it, though. Zanelli holds. And then rolls it out to left back. Not many options. Forward of the ball here for the Dandy Thunder. Things a bit stationary. And then the pass. Straight to Pace, who intercepts. Now Katanos. Looking to drive forward again. Slips it in board. Clever little one-two with Heffernan. And shooting on his right foot. But again, not enough power behind it to trouble Zanelli. Looking for Shepard. Brings it down with his left foot. But it's out towards the right corner. He will get there though. Being tracked all the way. 
Concedes a little bit of ground. A little one two. And now Shepard moving the ball forward. Edge of the area. Petri is there, lays it off. Shepard with the shot, and it's spilled by Zanelli into the net. 3 0 Heidelberg. A great passing move. It still took a goalkeeping error to find its way into the back of the net, but the build up was sublime. And the final shot, well, it had just enough to trouble Zanelli and squirm into the bottom corner. Little pass in board, finds Kearney, and now he passes to Mulcahy, feigned a shot, pace board it, now the shot comes, and this one is over the bar, it did dip late, but too late to trouble Norval. Here's Kiusis with the corner, left foot. High to the back post, headers go up, and Miller clears it off the line, and he denied his namesake, Miller. Well, Matt Miller nearly scores for Dandenong, and the ball is now, second time in, cleared away. Mulcahy will chase it down, danger's still not over. Tries to hit it out to the right, and it's cleared for a throw. Matt Miller goes up, Paul Miller stays down, and Dandenong are denied. Malkay plays the free kick short to the left. Kiusis, little one two. Back to Malkay. Now driving it high over to the right hand side. Headed down. Heidelberg will take possession and Heffernan is breaking into his attacking half. Plays it through. Galopoulos on the right hand side. He's got Tavsensioglu guarding him. Went left, then jinx right. Hits the byline. Tried to cut it in. And did the keeper get a touch? Looks like it's out for a goal kick. Ball taken quickly. Kearney in the middle. Passing into the attacking half. Nice little touch there from Mulcahy. One, two, top of the area, right footed shot. And it's tipped away by Norval. He has been sharp tonight. And Ryan Norval makes another save. He is clinging onto that clean sheet for Heidelberg. And a good stop diving low to his right. Corner is taken short. Little pass in. Malkay cross high to the back post. Barnes! And he puts it wide at the near post. He had a great leap to get up to the ball. Just couldn't guide it towards the target. So here comes the corner, centrally, and headed away by Pace. It'll bounce just outside the area. Double will chase it down, passing into the middle. And now, out to the left again, Craig finds Dover. Right-footed cross, swung in, Barnes leapt high. And the header is away for Heidelberg, only to the edge of the box, and this time the shot is ballooned over the bar. He uses with the throw. In it comes. Top left corner of the area. Kearney. Dubber. 1-2. Kearney again. Faisal's through and scores! They get their goal. Down and on Thunder 1. Heidelberg United 3. There is a lifeline. Great interplay passing and Faisal just rolled onto his left foot and smashed it in with a little nick off the post. One in the wall, trying to provide just enough of an obstacle. In it comes. Left foot, near post. Dubber takes a touch and a good save by Norval, parrying it away. Kearney flicked up and in! Barnes with the header! It's 3-2 and the comeback is on for Dandenong Thunder! Kearney's initial shot took a little skimming header off the near man and then Barnes guided it in. Through the traffic, it's Dandenong Thunder 2, Heidelberg United 3, and the comeback is on.
Miller down the wing, being chased by Pace. Takes the ball off him, and now a little bit of grappling. The assistant referee is flagging, and there's a little bit of it to do. Some push and shove. Referee's got the cards out of the pocket here. More and more players coming in. And now the finger being pointed here. Mulcahy not happy with Pace. The referee's got to take some control. And finally, it starts to break up a little bit. Gumbalas and Elmazovsky were in there. And after a talking to, yellow card comes out. One each for Pace and Elmazovsky. And that'll do. Kearney keeps it moving. Now Miller in the middle of the park. Plays a little ball. Brendan Craig turns onto his left. It's Craig! And that one is straight at Norval. Dan and Ong passing out from the back. Shallow kick. And now it's been intercepted by Galopoulos. He's got Heffernan. Unmarked Heffernan. Now as the defence arrives, rolls onto his right foot and scores the fourth. And with seven minutes to go, it's Heidelberg United 4, Dan and Ong Thunder 2. And that should do it. A spirited comeback cancelled out by such an innocuous error. And Heffernan was lethal when presented with a chance. Hit long by Tavsan Sioglu. Well, not long enough. It's been headed down by Petri. And now Heffernan with a long shot. Saved by Zanelli. Parries it. And the defence arrives to clear it away. The throw-in goes down the line. Stambolidis keeps it moving into the attacking half. Heffernan jinks in on his left and now cuts back onto his right. He's got Kratke unmarked, top of the area. Kratke takes a touch, swings onto his right. Oh! That's one for the road! And Petr Kratke scores a ripper! Why wouldn't you go over and celebrate that one with the fans? It's Heidelberg United 5, Dandenong Thunder 2. A sensational strike from the sub. Stopped a walking pace. They're almost begging the referee to end it. Pass into the middle. Heffernan. There's not time for a six, I wouldn't think. Taps Ansioglu. Wins possession. Gets his ankles tapped. Clock still ticking. Referee blows the whistle. There it is. Full time at George Andrews Reserve. It's Heidelberg United 5. Dandenong Thunder 2. It's the end to a goal fest here in the Victorian NPL. Seven between the two teams. And just when Dandenong Thunder thought the miracle comeback was on, Heidelberg surged again. George, uh, happy with the game? Oh, absolutely. A uh, very difficult um, venue to come and get maximum points. Uh, you know, it's always uh, tough to be to come down and beat uh, Dandenong at Dandenong. Um, fortunately for us, um, just when it looked that things may uh, turn a bit of pear shape for us, uh, we responded to, um, to a couple of moves that we made and uh, we capitalised early on in those moves, which gave us the full points. Dean, that, that opening uh, 30 minutes, uh, you were behind the eight ball from then. Why, why did that happen? Why did you think? I don't know, been... George, to be honest. Um, you know, the one thing I'm really proud about this team is that every single week, even when we've got beaten, especially like at South by a big score in Oakley, they've still worked hard and they've seen the game out and they've not, not given in. But it was like we never showed up for the first half an hour and it was really, really... Not, I've never seen it in this team. It's the first time I've actually seen it since we've been together. So you know, this 30, it took 13 games to see it. Why I can't I can't answer that at the moment. We'll find out about it during the week. Of you know, we, we prepared really well for the game. We were really confident that we could get a result today. And you know, and, and what a bad start it was. Really, I, you know, I'm not taking anything again away from Heidelberg, but we gifted them three goals. It was you know defensive errors, and it was just like knife through butter. So. You know, I made a tactical change then to bring on another centre half and play with a sweeper, and you could tell even that once we did it, we started to get a little bit more back into the game. But we couldn't wait to get them into half time really, so we could really plan how we wanted to attack them in the second half. And I mean, second half it was a different team. I mean, I thought we were superb, and you know, and if we don't give a silly soft goal when it's three-two, I, th I think if we get one, we'll go and win it. You know, I think there was only going to be one team that we had all the momentum and. And I just felt that, you know, we threw it away, really. Uh, 
once they scored those two goals, were you worried that they were going to come back or were you confident in your side? To, no, you're, all, you're always worried that they're going to come back, you know. That's why we had to uh, be quick in making that change. Um, but I just thought it was the first time in, in, in a while now that a change helped us gain a result. Um, and that's to say that, you know, being light on the bench, yeah, we had a couple of kids who came on and did a damn good job. And ultimately, that's what we're looking for, you know, those kids that can excel to the new, to the next level and to their credit, 